Well, if your child has asthma, you're going to want to hear this story tonight. A local nonprofit recently conducted a study to find out if high poverty housing impacts kids dealing with asthma. What they found is some important information for both parents and equity housing leaders. WJZ live at 11 o'clock tonight. Jessica Albert joining us with the results from this study. And Jess, we want to know what are the experts saying? Well, they say that kids that participated in this study who have asthma, they were moved from high poverty housing to low poverty housing. The researchers found out that the kids' uh, asthma symptoms were better after they were moved. A study conducted by Baltimore Regional Housing Partnership finds high poverty housing makes asthma worse in children. There were 123 children enrolled in the study between the ages of 5 and 17. Uh, and all of those children uh, were asthmatic. Baltimore Regional Housing Partnership is a nonprofit that works to provide better housing for low income families. They studied this group of kids before and after the organization moved them out of high poverty housing into better living situations. The results of this study um, show that the asthma symptoms and the exacerbations of asthma uh, saw significant reductions. Um, prior, you know, from their pre move neighborhood to their post move neighborhood. A lot of that had to do with, surprisingly, the stress that the parents were under. Governor Westmore declared May Asthma Awareness Month, and the state health department is working to educate citizens about the disease. According to the state, one in 13 people have asthma. Every year, thousands of people are sent to hospitals in Maryland because of it, and the state found that black children in Maryland have almost five times the rate of asthma related hospital visits. Than than white children. Baltimore Regional Housing Partnership is calling on the community to recognize the importance of not only reducing asthma attacks, but also finding better housing for low income families. This study adds to a, a growing volume of evidence that programs like these work. And the state is encouraging families to have an asthma action plan to help manage symptoms. They're also offering home visits for families with children who have asthma. For more information on that, just head to our website, WJZ.com. Reporting live tonight in Baltimore, Jessica Alpert for WJZ.